أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي يحيي ويميت فإذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له فإنما يقول له كن فيكون ألم تر إلى الذين يجادلون في آيات الله أنا يصرفون الذين كذبوا بالكتاب وبما أرسلنا به رسلنا فسوف يعلمون إذ الأغلال في أعناقهم والسلاسل يسحبون في الحميم ثم في النار يسجرون ثم قيل لهم أين ما كنتم تشركون من دون الله قالوا ضلوا عنا بل لم نكن ندعو من قبل شيئا كذلك يضل الله الكافرين صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Ghafir The ayah number 68, 69, and 70, and 71. In the ayah number 68, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues talking about himself, showing his mighty signs in this universe over our life. In the ayah number 67, he mentioned our creation that originally it was from dust and Allah was himself alone who created us from dust then from sperm, from nutfa, then from alaqa from clot of blood, piece of blood which is in abeyance من علاقة ثم يخرجكم طفلا. Then afterwards he brings you forth as an infant. ثم لتبلغوا أشدكم. Then in order to make you, uh, then he makes you grow till you reach the age of full strength. ثم لتكونوا شيوخا. Then afterwards to be old. وَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يُتَوَفَّى مِنْ قَبْلُ Though some among you die before, before emerging to this life, or maybe in their infancy or in their youth, وَلِتَبْلُغُ أَجَلًا مُسَمَّى And in order to reach an appointed term in your life, so every life depends on that appointed term, named term, مُسَمَّى وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ But at least in, or, uh, in, or, uh, do, in order to understand and realize and, and to reason all of this creation in this life and your creation in this life, all of them is, uh, an, uh, is uh, an opportun opportunity for you yeah, in order to understand and realize the truth and your creation also is signs uh, are signs for you in order to understand did not the human being remember that he wasn't anything before we created him he wasn't anything anything mentioned no one was knows about him. There wasn't any record anywhere about him. He was something uh, now, nothing. Wasn't mentioning in any place. But we created him, and he now on the sur on the surface of the earth, uh, important ruler. He he is an important being on the earth. 
who created him, we created him. And the human being knows that he wasn't anything. So our creation, our life, our being on earth, on this earth, is a sign of the Creator. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ And so that you may reason if you think about it, if you think about your creation and these different stages which none but Allah uh, causes you to pass through these stages. Yes, the ayah number 67 was talking about the creation of human being and that the Allah, Allah is the only one, God, who creates the human being through these stages. And it shows us, this ayah shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware about us in every single detail in our creation, in our life and especially at the moment when we were very weak, very feeble, even we weren't aware about ourselves. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was fully aware about us. He was creating us. So how can we call upon others while there is the only one God who is fully aware about us and all the things other than Him like us in this universe. And in the ayah number 68, the same meaning continues here and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هُوَ الَّذِي you can see that the ayah number 68 also starts with the same word huwa it is he huwa alladhi yuhyi wa yumit so we know that there is life and there should be a power there should be a god who gives this life huwa alladhi yuhyi wa yumit who is ever living who has the ultimate life and gives from that life to his creation. There is a life. We are certain about the life. But we want to know who is that one who gives this life, who, co who grants this life. Allah Azza wa says, You know the life, and I am the one who gives this life. Who alladhi? It is He who gives life. Who alladhi yuhi? Wa yumit. And same thing uh, happens in death. We know the death and we know that there should be a powerful God who decrees the death over us and causes us to die in this life. We are about, uh, there is no doubt about dying, about death and we are asking who is behind the command of death. Allah Azza wa answers here, Huwa alladhi yuhi wa yumit. It is He who gives life and it is He who calls death. Huwa alladhi yuhi wa yumit. These are very essential in our life. Our life actually starts with uh, the ihya the giving life of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it ends with the death so this is one of them the beginning and the other one is the end of our life who is behind this most important issues in our life the ayah says it is he it is the only one God and that how we come to know the creator from his actions. If you ask this question purely, you will find the Creator who is behind the command of death, who determines that time, and who is behind the command of life, who created me, and who will make, who will cause me to die. The answer is your Creator, the only one, God. So there is something happens in our life out of our control and we cannot overlook it. 
and these things not simple things in our life these things is very very important in our life we cannot overlook them we should ask we should look after or go after the reason and the one who creates that reason in our life which which is very powerful over our life changes it starts it ends it how can we overlook these main questions in our life and start to take to, to live this life only focusing its pleasure enjoying it without finding the uh, answer of this question if we reason if we reason we will surely uh, find the creator the one who makes these important things in our life the earth our creation our life burning and dying who is behind them you cannot find any human being who will say to you, I am behind them all.